Hello everybody and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we've got the South Dakota State Jackrabbits looking for their first win on the season. It's going to be a rough one. They're traveling to the 20th ranked UNLV Rebels. And they are pretty good on offense. Really good quarterback. They lost their first matchup though. So two winless teams here in this ballgame. There's a nice completion out to Porter and a huge hit by Chris Major. Very nice tackle by him. He's been one of these standout players on defense. He also got Mason Smith, the halfback out there, playing some linebacker. And we haven't seen a whole lot of Frank Theory this season. Here's Price catching a nice pass break and a tackle. Gets up to the 38. In the first game of the season, as Porter gets a touchdown here for the Rebels. The first game of the year, Akron hosted the Jackrabbits and whooped them 63-31. to That wasn't a pretty game at all. And here's a nice completion over the middle to Brahms North, the big tight end. And last week, the Jackrabbits suffered a stunning loss to the Hofstra Pride, 56-42 in their home opener. It was very unsuspecting uh, for the Jackrabbits to lose that game. And here is a missed field goal right here from the Jacks. So they're not starting off this game too well. 7-0, a missed field goal. Burnett rolling out, throwing over the middle. Irvin got it up to the 42-yard line. Fourth consecutive completion for Burnett. After two incomplete passes, here is a third one. So he goes from four completed passes in a row to three incomplete. Mark Jackson back on offense and a pretty pass down the middle to Brahms North for the big pickup and the first down to the 47-yard line. And that was a big-time throw over the defender. Brahms North just running over the safety. I like it. Jackson scrambling left side, and he's going to take off. He'll pick up the first downs, almost, I think. He juked out of bounds, and they didn't give it to him. So here's Mason Smith picking up the first down on the ground. Second and six. Less than a minute to go here in the first quarter. Jackson out to Maxi, and he lays out for it at the 30-yard line. What a play for the big tight end. Play action. Action Jackson rolling out, throwing deep down the middle, and Erwin Dowski gets clobbered in the end zone. He drops the touchdown. That makes it fourth and 14 here. Jackrabbit's going for it, and there is a clutch throw to Jack Marks over the middle for the first down. Second and 10, Daly Redding breaks the tackle. He's inside the 10-yard line, and he actually runs over the defender. You didn't see it, but you will right here. I apologize for the drop frames yet again. I'll get it figured out one of these days, guys. Great touchdown run from Daly Redding. Thomas on the sweep left side. He'll get the first down to the 35-yard line. Rebels looking to take the lead back over the Jackrabbits here in the second. Third down, Burnett pressured. Right side and Whitlock with some toe drag swag and a first down. Thomas up the gut. Makes a man miss badly and he gets it to the three-yard line. Unreal move. Put that defender on his face. And his play action from Burnett, Chris Major with a deflection. Great coverage by the safety. And yes, indeed, that is some user defense right there. The Jackrabbits holding the fourth and goal here. They're going to go for it, and that pass is over the intended target's hands. The Jackrabbits start off at their own one-yard line here. What a goal line stand that was. And here is Erwin Dowski with the first down reception. Jackson going to go to the air again here, rolling out. He's got Brahms North, who has a step on the linebacker. And he comes down with it inside the 35 and down at the 29-yard line. He is just a nightmare for anybody to cover. Oh, my goodness. Jackson on the option. He's got Daly Redding out there to the left and does not pitch it to him. That would have been six. Jackson again going to go to the air here. He's got Brahms North wide open for the touchdown. Jack Rabbits. Take the lead, 14-7 here in the first half. And that pass is intercepted by Fowler. Burnett was hit as he threw it. Oh my goodness. Jack Rabbits with some momentum here. Looking to take a two-score lead over the Rebels. And Jackson taking a shot over the middle. That's Maxi the tight end. And he will get a first down inside the 10-yard line. Second down from the five, Jackson. Takes it into the end zone for the rushing touchdown. The Jackrabbits now with a 21-7 lead, folks. Looking for that big upset over the top 25 Rebels. 
They have three timeouts left, but Burnett is sacked right there. That makes it fourth and 12. The Jackrabbits call the timeout. And the Jackrabbits get a little bit of time here. 17 seconds remaining. One timeout left. And here is Hicks, the star corner on the punt return. And he's going left side. If he could set up the blocker here, and he does. And Hicks is going to take this one all the way for the touchdown. Jackrabbits strike again. 67-yard touchdown. Punt return. Unreal play. And they're going to continue to go on offense here. Brahms North with a 10-yard reception. Third and 12 now. We are in the third quarter, in case I forgot to mention that. Here is uh, Mason Smith with a nice run after the catch to the midfield. Great play, and Jackson having himself a fantastic night as well. And he's going to scramble left side here, and he's going to throw it late, and that's caught by Browns North anyway. Last week, Browns North had 104 yards receiving. This week, 153. Week one, he had 94. So he is definitely one of the top receiving tight ends in the nation, and there was a huge run right there by Daly Redding. Third and goal from the four, though. Jackson. Rolling out, Daly Redding wide open in the back of the end zone. And that is another South Dakota State Jackrabbit touchdown. They have a 35-7 to lead over the 20th ranked Rebels. Unreal today. Nice deflection. The Jackrabbits get the ball back. Nice quick three and out. But the Rabbits go three and out. The Jackrabbits, that is. I think if they do poorly, I'm just going to start calling them the Rabbits. Nice deflection right there from Chris Major at the 15-yard line. Jackrabbits do get the ball back again. Daly Redding on the sweep, picks up seven or eight yards. He is third in the nation for rushing yards at 310. And Mason Smith is denied the first down. He does not have the best average when it comes to running. Burnett over the middle, Thomas, and Major can't get him. Thomas is gone. Rebels hit the scoreboard once again, 35-14 in front of their home crowd. That was a great play. Chris Major sort of took a bad angle there. And a nice play by Thomas. After a muffed kickoff, the Jackrabbits start their own four-yard line, but Daly Redding quickly gets them out of danger and up to the 16. Jackson had Irwin Dowski wide open, decides to hit Jack Marks instead, and he'll get it up to the 32-yard line. A fantastic play for the big guy. Third and three. And that is a false start, or offsides penalty, excuse me, encroachment by the defensive tackle. Jackson rolling around. He's going to take off, and he's taken down short of the first down. Jackrabbit's controlling the clock. Fourth and one, Daly running up the middle. And that's a first down again. 20 first downs today for South Dakota State. And Daly running to the outside. He'll pick up eight yards. 334 yards on the season now. Jackrabbit just milking that clock. Here's Redding again picking up the first down. 87 yards today. One touchdown, 7.2 yard average. Redding again up the middle. Juking. He'll pick up eight or nine more yards. South Dakota State has just been dominant today. And Daly Redding's going to get another first down less than a minute to go in this game. That gets him over the century mark for the day. 103 yards. Lamar Jackson, player of the game for the Jackrabbits. 263 yards passing, three total touchdowns today. As Mason Smith gets a carry. And he's going to get close to the first down marker. Second and in inches, but that is enough to run the clock out. Jackrabbits get a huge upset here against the 20th ranked Rebels of UNLV. 35-14. to And it's also their first win on the season. So a huge step in the right direction for the Jackrabbits. Their offense got it going. No turnovers today, I don't think. So that's a fantastic stat. That's the one that you need in this dynasty. Because if you turn the ball over against the higher-rated uh, teams, you will pay for it. UNLV was held to 195 yards of offense. That is just phenomenal defense by the Jackrabbits. Sacked zero times. Zero turnovers. We had one fumble today, but it went out of bounds. And I don't believe I showed it. 28 points in the second quarter. We just poured it on a lot of great plays in that quarter. And we kind of just coasted for the victory. Jackson, 21 of 32. Two touchdowns, no picks, 65 completion percentage, along of 60. Daily Redding, 103 yards. Mason Smith, four carries, 15 yards. Redding and Jackson both had rushing touchdowns. Mason Smith with two broken tackles today. Browns North, 155 yards receiving on 10 receptions, one touchdown. Daily Redding, two catches, four yards, one touchdown. Jack Marks, 36 yards receiving today. DJ Maxey, 
Mason Smith, one catch, 19 yards. Two drops for uh, Reinhardt Erwandowski. And one for Jack Marks. Five pancakes for Chad Filler. And Gray North also had a pancake. Of course, no sacks allowed today. The offensive line played fantastic. Chris Major led the team in tackles with four. Frank Theory, two tackles, one for a loss. Mason Smith had a sack. His second of his career, I believe. Interception from Fowler, Mr. Brett Fowler. He bobbled that one big time, but he caught, he came away with it. Chris Major, three deflections. Hicks with three deflections. Also, the punt return for a touchdown. Mike Henderson, 0 for 1 field goals today. You're trash. Jack Marks, the 20-yard kick return. Jamar Hicks, that 67-yard punt return for a touchdown. And those are the top players of the game. Burnett for UNLV had two passing touchdowns. Thomas had a receiving touchdown. And Sullivan had the forced fumble at the cornerback spot. The next Jackrabbits football game will be uh, week four as they take on the Dartmouth Big Green from the Big East. That is a home game for the Jackrabbits. They look to get their second victory on the season. Our next game, which will be out tomorrow, will be the Murray State Racers, who are 0-1 on the season, traveling to take on the Cal Poly Mustangs, who are 1-0. I will see you guys with that one tomorrow. Take it easy, guys.